In this lesson, I'll show you how to find the true effective interest rate of a simple discount note. The steps of doing this are shown on your screen. And beginning with question number one, what is the effective interest rate of a $5,000 simple discount note at an ordinary bank discount rate of 12% for 90 days? Beginning with step number one, let's find the bank discount. And we'll be using this formula. I is equal to PRT. The principal is given 5,000. The rate is also given 0 0.12. And they tell us that it's ordinary, which means that for the time, we'll divide 90 days by 360 days, as opposed to 365 in a full year. So 90 over 360. Calculating this, 5,000 times 0 0.12 times 90 over 360 gives us 100 and 50. That's the interest. Step number two, find the proceeds. Proceeds is calculated by taking the principal minus the bank discount. So the principal is 5,000 minus 150. We'll call proceeds P. This gives us 4,850. Finally, find the effective rate which is calculated like this, using the proceeds as the principal. So using that formula, R is equal to I over P T. I we found to be 150 over 4,850 times 90 over 360. Using our calculator, you should get 0 0.1237 or 12.37%, rounded to one decimal place, it's 12.4%. That would be the effective interest rate. In question number two, Myhawk Trailer made a note of 10,000 with Darcy Myhawk, owner, at 9% simple interest based on exact interest. So we assume 365 days and exact time. The note is made on August 12 and due November 10. Since Myhawk Trailer needs cash, the note is sold to a third party on September 5th. The third party agrees to accept the note with a 13% annual discount using the banker's rule. Find the proceeds of the note. A lot of things going on here. Exact interest, exact time, and banker's rule are all underlined. Let's discuss those. First, the exact time. That is between August 12 and November 10. If you count the number of days between August 12 and November 10, that's exactly 90 days. So that's the exact time. The exact interest is, as I mentioned, based on 365 days in a year, as opposed to ordinary interest, which is 360 days a year. The banker's rule is when you calculate interest on a loan based on ordinary interest, which yields a slightly higher amount of interest. So if you use 360 as opposed to 365, you'll get more interest in return. That's why they call it the banker's rule. That's how they make their money. So with all that said, let's go back to the question. The first thing that I want to do is find the proceeds of the note. And here's how it's done. We will use the formula up here. I is equal to PRT. The principal was 10,000. The rate is 9%. And the time is 90 over 365. Using our calculator, 10,000 times 0 0.09 times 90 divided by 365 gives us approximately 221.92. The maturity value is calculated by taking the principal plus the interest. So let me calculate the maturity value the principal was 10,000 plus the interest of 2 to 1.92 gives us 10,221.92. And from here, we can calculate the third party discount by taking this amount and multiplying it to 0 0.13, that's the rate, that's the new principal and the time between September 5th and November 10, that's 66 days divided by 360 because of the banker's rule. Let's find out what that is. 
10, 2, 2, 1. I added an extra 2 here, my mistake. 0.92 times 0 0.13 times 66 over 360. That's 243.62. The proceeds then are calculated by taking the principal minus the interest. So that was step number two, remember. The principal, the new principal, minus 243.62. A lot of micro calculations. 9978.29. This number right here represents the proceeds. Did we answer the whole question? Find the proceeds of the note? Yes, we did. And that right there is how to find the true effective interest rate of a simple discount note.